true to moore's law the number of transistors on a microchip has doubled every year since the 1960s but this trajectory is predicted to soon play to because silicon the backbone of modern transistors loses its electrical properties once devices made from this material dip below a certain size enter 2d materials delicate uh, two dimensional sheets of perfect crystals that are as thin as a single atom at the scale of nanometers 2d materials can conduct electrons far more efficiently than silicon the search for next generation transistor materials therefore has focused on 2d materials as potential successors to silicon but before the electronics industry can transition to 2d materials scientists have to first find a way to engineer the materials on industry standard silicon wafers while preserving their perfect crystalline form and mit engineers may now have a solution the team has developed a method that could enable chip manufacturers to fabricate ever smaller transistors from 2d materials by growing them on existing wafers of silicon and other materials the new method is a form of non epitaxial single crystalline growth which the team used for the first time to grow pure defect free 2d materials onto industrial silicon wafers With their method the team fabricated a simple functional transistor from a type of 2D materials called the transition metal dichalcogonides or TMDs which are known to conduct electricity better than silicon at nanometer scales the researchers expect that technology could enable the development of 2D semiconductor based high performance next generation electronic devices they have unlocked a way to catch up to moore's law using 2d materials the researchers detailed their method in a paper appearing in the journal nature to produce a 2d material researchers have typically employed a manual process by which an atom tin flake is carefully exfoliated from a bulk material like peeling away the layers of an onion but Most bulk materials are polycrystalline containing multiple crystals that grow in random orientations where one crystal meets another the grain boundary acts as an electric barrier any electrons flowing through one crystal suddenly stop when met with a crystal of a different orientation damping a material's conductivity Even after exfoliating a 2D flake researchers must then search the flake for single crystalline regions a tedious and time intensive process that is difficult to apply at industrial scales recently researchers have found other ways to fabricate 2D materials by growing them on wafers of sapphire a material with a hexagonal pattern of atoms which encourages 2D materials to assemble in the same single crystalline orientation but nobody uses sapphire in the memory or logic industry all the infrastructure is based on silicon for semiconductor processing we need to use silicon wafers however wafers of silicon lack sapphire's hexagonal supporting scaffold when researchers attempt to grow 2d materials on silicon the result is a random patchwork of crystals that merge haphazardly forming numerous grain boundaries that uh, stymie conductivity it is considered almost impossible to grow single crystalline 2d materials on silicon now the mit researchers so we can and their trick is to prevent the formation of grain boundaries the team's new non epitaxial single crystalline growth does not require peeling and searching flakes of 2d material Instead the researchers use conventional vapor deposition methods to pump atoms across a silicon wafer the atoms eventually settle on the wafer and nucleate growing into two dimensional crystal orientations if left alone each nucleus or seed of crystal would grow in random orientations across the silicon wafer but the researchers found a way to align each growing crystal to create single crystalline regions across the entire wafer to do so they first covered a silicon wafer in a mask a coating of silicon dioxide that they patterned into tiny pockets each designed to trap a crystal seed across the masked wafer they then flowed a gas of atoms that settled into each pocket to form a 2d material in this case a tmd the mask's pockets 
corralled the atoms and encouraged them to assemble on the silicon wafer in the same single crystalline orientation. With their masking method, the team fabricated a simple GMD transistor and showed that its electrical performance was just as good as a pure flake of the same material. They also applied the method to engineer a multi-layered device. After covering a silicon wafer with a patterned mask, they grew one type of 2D material to fill half of each square, then grew a second type of 2D material over the first layer to fill the rest of the squares. The result was an ultra-thin, single crystalline bilayer structure within each square. Going forward, multiple 2D materials could be grown and stacked together in this way to make ultra-thin, flexible and multifunctional films.